What's up guys? Today we're checking out the Mario Tennis demo. Now I believe this goes live later on tonight, I think 6 p.m. Pacific time in the U.S. Uh, but if you download it from the Japanese eShop, you can play it right now, or the European eShop, either one. You can play it right now if you'd like. Uh, online, some people were saying it wasn't the best experience because you may be further away from them. Obviously, proximity can have a role in how well it's, how smooth it's playing. But I did play an online match, and it seemed fine. Other than that, though, we were doing some practice matches with the, the CPU. Actually, let me go back here real quick. You can do that. As long as it can at least communicate to the server a bit, you could still play offline. Um, I already told you guys it does have the how to play and everything. So if you want to go through, you can actually uh, run through like a tutorial like this, and it'll, it'll tell you basically how to do everything. Um, you could basically, you, you practice against uh, the computer, they run you through scenarios, and then uh, you can pretty much learn that way. So, I'm actually not going to do that because I already went through that, and uh, it's a little boring. It's more fun to play against the computer, which we're going to do. You do unlock characters as well. You see a bunch of blank spaces here, and you need uh, set amounts of points. For example, you get this one if you're in 600. I believe the most you need, though, is... 1500 points. Now, when you play an online match, I believe I got 30 points. I won that one though because I think uh, you get like 10 points just for playing and then you get another 20 for a victory bonus or it's the other way around. Either way, just playing, you'll, you'll be able to unlock them. You also get it when you do uh, when you do this, um, when you play against computer, you also get points as well. So you can unlock everything or at least all the characters offline if you'd like. So here we go, we're gonna play as Mario. And I'm gonna tell you guys kinda how I feel about this game so far because there's some things I like. A few things I don't, but it's mostly one big thing that really bothers me. I'm just kinda having a little rally here with Bowser, okay. Uh, the one thing I did not like when I played online was I did not like the racket breaking mechanic. Now, we saw this in, uh, in, in the previews and stuff for it. They talked about it. And I didn't know if I would like it right then either. Um, and what I'm talking about is you can actually break your opponent's racket by using powerful shots. And you can also kind of, if you're on the other side and you time it right, you can actually um, st uh, stop their power shot, but it does risk breaking your racket. In fact, it happened to me online with one of the, with the, the match I played. I tried to stop it and I used some of the slow motion stuff to make that happen. And my racket broke immediately. Like, like it has three slots, but it broke anyway, like completely. And I was like, whoa, that's... Okay, so from then on, uh, basically, whenever they would use a power shot, I would just get out of the way. I was like, if, if my racket breaks now, I lose. And I was actually winning at the time. Um, so we ended up going to tiebreaker because I kept getting in the way of their power shots, and then I ended up winning in the tiebreaker. Uh, but I did not like that. The good thing is, uh, they're going to have just a straight-up more competitive mode when this goes live. Uh, like, the, the full game goes live, where you don't have to use any of those power shots, the racket breaking, nothing. It's just pure tennis. And I like the sound of that because that's how we'd always play back on the GameCube version, what I, which is pretty much what I'm comparing this to. Although I guess this is technically the Wii U version, just way more fleshed out with more stuff, adventure mode and everything. So you have your normal shots, topspin, uh, slice, which is like the blue, and then you have flat, which is like the purple, like that. Uh, and they have different, obviously different things happen on them. A topspin shot generally kicks forward. Uh, a slice is usually lower and almost has like a hovering effect and flat is just straight up like boom like it, it has generally the flat shots when i used to play tennis would have like the most power behind them but if you, if you did a top spin shot right you could actually get some pretty cool uh power behind it we can also slow down time as you see here i kind of slowed down time there to get a good angle on it and then put it to the left you do have your power shots like i was talking about when you get under the star and you hit r you can actually go into your power shot uh, and you build your shots by oop, just just hitting the ball basically back. <laughs> uh, so let me actually get one of those power shots going here. And there we go. Okay, so I got my power shot. When he hits it back, and hopefully I can get a lob out of him or something, because we're actually about to be done this match already. Uh, if he hits it back, um, I, and they got that little star, I should be able to do a little power shot. So hopefully he does that here, um, and I can maybe get him to kick that back to me. Although he's just, oh no. Uh, I didn't get it. Uh, so that was his, one of his uh, power shot things. You can slow down time, zone shot, jump up and hit it. Um, if they do it right, they can break your racket with that. And I lost some of my, uh, my meter. Eh, that's too bad. So I probably won't, unless I can keep this rally going. Like that star would have been good. Uh, maybe I can keep this rally going. Let me see if I can, there we go. There we go. So see, I can kind of hit it like that. Uh, I knocked it out though. I always mess that up too because you hit it and then it, you're supposed to stop. But the match is so fast, like you're moving along so quickly. I tend to accidentally hit a button and just knock it uh, forward. That's why I don't even really use the power shot that much. Um, I tend to have more fun just playing like, you know, 
regular style, which I, I guess isn't the idea of a arcade style game, but I love games like um, Virtual Tennis a lot on the Dreamcast. And that's basically what you'd end up doing is playing a more arcade version of uh, Top Spin was another one we used to play on the Xbox. That one tried to be more realistic uh, than something like Virtual Tennis. I love Virtual Tennis. That was, that was so much fun. So there we go. And you see there I got 10 points. All right, let's play another one here. Let's actually use Bowser. I was using uh, Mario. Let's use Bowser this time um, just to try out a different character against the computer. Basically, you're going to end up grinding for a while to get all the different characters like uh, Waluigi's in there, obviously. Uh, I believe Chain Chomp is one of them you can get. Uh, load times are quick. As you see there, I'm also going to talk a bit about the visuals and the frame rate. Uh, visually, it's, it looks it looks fine. I think it's a good looking game right now. Um, frame rate is 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 very good as well. I, I, w I wasn't really expecting it to have frame issues because the thing about tennis games is there's not a lot of stuff on screen, obviously. It's not like an open world or something like that. So it's pretty straightforward and, it, and it's a more controlled environment, obviously, than an open world. So yeah, I was pretty much expecting frame rate to be fine. And it is. It performs well. It looks good, I think. Um, and I'm having a lot of a lot of fun with it. It does remind me of the GameCube version, although I, I, I have a feeling, like I said, it's more built just like the Wii U version. <laughs> just extended, you know, more stuff going on. I want to try the adventure mode in the story. I think that'll be really fun. Um, just to see how they go about that. I think, uh, I think Nintendo Life and IGN and everyone covered it, and you play as uh, Mario and Donkey Kong is doing these challenges for you for some reason. It's tough to make a good story mode out of a tennis game. That's why I thought the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance games were so good, because they took some creative freedom with it, and it was really neat to see that. Um, that's actually something I would have liked to have seen them do here, where you make your own character. You, uh, I'm just trying to keep the rally going a bit with them. Uh, you make your own character. You, uh, you go to like a tennis academy. That was really cool the way they did that. Uh, but I, I don't think that's something they're going to be... Uh, wow, okay, that was weird. Uh, I, I don't think that's something they're going to be doing with a lot of these games, unfortunately. I just think it takes too much time. And maybe if this one does well, unlike the Wii U version, which I don't think did that great... Um, maybe they'll look further into it, especially if they see you building off of this kind of engine, because I'd like those mild RPG elements that they used in that, and I would like to see it make a comeback here. Um, so, but, uh, as you're seeing here, it's, 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 ten it's Mario Tennis. Um, it's, it's, it's surprisingly deep. I will say that. I just charged up forever on that one. It's, uh, surprisingly deep and, of course, hard to master, but it's easy to pick up. Uh, so it's it's fun. I, I'll be curious to see how it how it does with like uh, most people trying to play. I think with like single Joy-Con play and everything, because I'm using the Pro Controller right now, and I, uh, I I the Pro Controller has been fine for me. It has gyro aim too. I think for when you aim like your shots and stuff, like your super shots, which I'll try to take one here soon. I haven't tried that. I've just been sticking to standard. So, oh, he hit me. I wasn't paying attention. Body shot. Okay, we'll get him back for that one. Hit me right in the right in the stomach. Um, yep. So, okay, now I can kind of... There we go. Oh, he hit two... Oh, so we lost some of his... Okay, see, so we lost some of his racket. I think I knocked one of the bars out. If you really mess that up, like I said, my whole racket exploded online in one shot. But he, I took one of his bars away for that, so that's good. Um, there we go. Uh, this, of course, is out uh, near the end of the month. I think, like, third week in June. So... Shouldn't wait too much longer, and you'll be able to play it. They're going to have a full tournament. I think I saw in some areas, some regions, they're going to have uh, essentially like rewards for winning, like top five, got the game for free or something. It, it was in different regions. I don't know if it's in my area in the U.S. or anything. So I'm only up to 60 points now. <laughs> um, so I'm only up to 60 points. This is going to be a while to grind away for some of the characters. Of course, I think if I play online and I win, you get more points. You get 30, 40, 50, I think, depending on how well you do. But um, fun game so far. I'm enjoying it. I haven't played multiplayer on the same screen or anything. And I think the servers will start to fill up over the weekend as more and more people download it over the weekend. And it's going to be a good time. I think it's worth checking out, of course, because it's free. It's a demo. And it'll give you an idea if this is uh, something you're looking you're looking towards. So I only have 60 points. I need... Oh, okay, I only need 100 for this character. That's not bad. So I should be able to get that character in the next... Uh, I could play technically four matches against the computer and get my first character... Uh, or I guess play online for a little bit. Um, but yeah, actually I'm a little surprised. They have nine characters in this demo. I don't know how many characters are in the main game. 
Nine characters, though. Cool. Oh, oh, guys, that's Mario Tennis. I'm liking it so far. I don't like the tennis breaking thing, but I think they'll sort that out, I guess, as like a mode that I can play without that in the main version, like the, the overall game. Visuals are good. Frame rate's good. Premise is Mario Tennis. So if you like Mario Tennis, then you're going to like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed a look at Mario Tennis, dislike it if not. And make sure you subscribe for all gaming news, gameplay, and demos and everything, and new games coming out, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.